What's up guys, Sean here from SRK Cycles. We have a 2008 Kawasaki KLR 650 and this is the cleanest bike I've ever seen in my life. Let's go for a ride. I mean, these are these bikes are meant to be off road, and they're actually pretty. Uh, they're pretty tough bikes. You see some guys do some pretty sick stuff with these things, but not not this one. No one did anything cool on this bike other than just putting around doing their thing. I mean, it's too clean. It's never been dropped. That blows my mind away. Why has this bike never been, why has this bike never been dropped? It's a KLR. It's meant to be dropped. It's actually a pretty light feeling bike, but when it comes to dirt bikes, it's big. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a 650, it's a pretty large dirt bike. But when it comes to like, you know, enduro and stuff like that, it is, it's probably gonna be one of the lighter ones because it's basically a dirt bike with a fairing on it. Kind of goofy looking with that fairing, but hey, a lot of people really like these things. They got a pretty, uh, pretty big following. Now I got, I got Tim following me, Ghost, instead of Caleb today. Caleb is sick, and uh, I'm pretty excited to ride this bike. I'm sure I can do some pretty good wheelies on it banging through the gears it's actually I mean I know it's a thumper it's a single cylinder but it's actually a pretty smooth bike I gotta dump the clutch a little higher than that a little higher than that too I've seen a lot of videos of people just killing it, doing great stuff with these things. And if you compare, so let's say you're looking to go off-road, you're looking to do some enduro stuff. You've seen what those guys can do on the BMW GS bikes. Have you ever ridden a BMW GS bike? They are so heavy. You like when you think about like you want to do enduro stuff, and you think about this, and that makes sense. When you get on one of those BMW GS bikes, it's like, wow, these guys, these guys are good. These guys have skill. They know what they're doing. I mean, they are, they're insanely heavy. I mean, they're great bikes, but I would feel much more comfortable, you know, doing enduro stuff on something like this than I would on one of them GS bikes. I mean, 100%, like... It would just be, it'd be a lot easier. Now these are not as refined and the top speed is not going to be as high and they're not as powerful and there's tons of reasons why you would want to go with a GS bike. Um, especially if you're doing a lot of touring and stuff like that. they gear these things is more for that top speed so you can this can be more of a touring bike so you can you know hit those higher speeds and it's comfortable cruising it doesn't have that low low rpm like snap like even the drc 400 does it's just not made for it it's just how they made it you know it's supposed to be a little more refined than your average dirt bike because people know that they're going to be doing a lot no one wants to be red, you know, top gear, red line, cruising down the highway for any long period of time. It's just too uncomfortable. It's kind of a horrible feeling, actually. The bike handles nice. It handles as good as you can handle a bike with tires like this. Let's, let's put it that way. 
because these are enduro tires so they're not very good on the they're they're not that great on the street they're not that great off-road but you can do them both try taking like a sport bike off-road you start you have no traction anywhere it's one thing to have no traction on your back tire but it's another thing to have no traction on your front tire that's a little horrifying uh, up here let's get on it a little bit I'll take this turn we'll see how this bike pulls Man, 3600 miles that's that's crazy it's got a cool little uh, power port thing down there all right let's do a little uh, we'll do our first gear pool I mean, it's definitely, the way they geared this 650 motor, it's for that top speed. I mean, in second gear, I was in like 40, close to, you know, close to 50. It wasn't even red line. This is made so you can, so in the grand scheme of things, a 650 single cylinder is not a very big engine. But they make it so that you could cruise on the highway and still have plenty of power and still have plenty of gear left. And they, they definitely did a good job. I'd feel great cruising on this thing. The ergonomics of this, I love it. I'm sitting up. It's a very sporty position. Um, the handlebars are real close to me. That it's a, it's just an all-around good, good feel. Um, I, I could ride on this thing for a long trip. I could be, I'd be very comfortable on it. I'd be real comfortable on it, actually. I think I was in third gear when I was pulling out of that turn going like 10 miles an hour and it didn't hesitate it didn't really stutter it just kind of thumped its way through that's the that's the that's the big displacement for a dirt bike just kind of pulling up kind of showing you what it's got Got a red line at 70, 7,500 RPMs. I never really knew what, what dirt bikes redlined at. This is a much more, well, I don't know if I could, not sure if I could say that. How much is the fairing actually helping? It's actually doing a lot. I mean, it's stopping a lot of wind from hitting my chest. If you were doing a big tour, Another good thing about these engines is they're pretty bulletproof. They've been making them for a long time. They're nothing, they're, they're not super efficient, they're not super anything. What they are is, they're super reliable. They're not making big power or anything, but they make enough, they get the job done. And, it, they're, pre, and they're pretty low maintenance and pretty low, uh, you don't have to service them very much, you know, it's just a top. It's a tough little engine. And it's got a good power band, but it's not like, it's not stabbing your neck. I mean, I, I tried a couple times to, to do a little wheelie in first and second gear, and I just, it wasn't, it wasn't having it. Now, I'm sure I could rev it. I'm sure I could redline it and pop it up, but I just don't, don't want to do that. Guys, I really like this bike. I'll probably put some more miles on it. I'll probably do a highway, we'll run video on it. <clears throat> 